Brian Schiltz is the type of running back who relies on speed, toughness, and most importantly, vision. But in an instant, that vision was gone. For Brian, football isn't his entire life, but it's pretty close to it. He loves everything about the game, especially being a part of the team. Always have someone be there to back you up, pretty much. Always having people there to support you, having a brotherhood, you know, just being with people who have the same um, goals and intentions as you. August 2015, the start of his junior season at Lawton High School. Brian was spending the night at a friend's house. What started out as a migraine ended up as something much more serious. I didn't really sleep that night. And my vision started blurring in my left eye. And then by morning, it was completely gone. So my older sister picked me up and she took me to the ER. And they basically said they had to run some tests on me. The tests revealed a tumor on Brian's optic nerve. He'd have to undergo surgery, and only after would doctors be able to tell if it was cancerous. Risks included brain damage and vision loss. But the biggest blow to Brian came when he met with his neurologist the night before the surgery. He's like, do you have any questions? Like, I only have one question. Will I be able to play football? And he said no. And as soon as he said no, like, without any hesitation, my heart just dropped. And I just rolled over and started crying. And he asked me if he'd do anything for me. I said no. And he just left me alone. So I thought about that the whole night. He sat there and cried. The surgery took eight hours and was successful. Tests proved that the tumor was benign. But Brian was at the beginning of a lengthy recovery process. When he came to the recovery room, it was quite a shock to see um, his head because he was cut from top to bottom in the back. I couldn't move my head side to side. I could barely, I could, I could see, but my eyes were still very sensitive to light. I couldn't walk really because like, you know, the pain was so like, unbearable. With time, the physical pain went away, but the pain of knowing he couldn't play football only got worse. He was excited for being back and um, being able to be here with the team, but he was also down all the time knowing that he probably would never ever get to play again. And he had just, like, he wanted to be out there with us, not watching. He wanted to help us. So it was pretty hard on him. In time, Brian returned to playing basketball and running track. But the one sport he wanted to play most was still out of the question. Then, about 10 months after the surgery, Brian got the news he never thought would come. When I heard there's still, like, a small chance, I was holding on to it. Like, no matter what, I was like, I'm playing football again, because that's what my mindset was. And then so I was like, even if it was a little bit of hope, I just kept praying and praying. And finally told me I could play again. And I was just, I honestly was lost for words. I was just sat there and smiled the whole time. He was so happy. He, he couldn't wait to get back to school to be able to tell everybody that he was going to be back on that field. My doctor told me to take it slow. I didn't because I was just so excited. I jumped right back into it. I mean, I was a lot slower than I anticipated, a lot weaker. But, you know, after a couple weeks, I just felt like normal again. I felt like nothing ever happened. Brian made his season debut in week three against Bangor. And on his first carry since the surgery, the unthinkable happened. Go, go! Go, go! It went down as a 65-yard touchdown. But to Brian, it felt a whole lot longer than that. When I was in the end zone, I was like, I looked back and my teammates seemed all rushing. I mean, like, it just felt like surreal. I was like, this isn't happening. And my brother came up to me and hit me. He was like, dude, you just scored. I was like, I know. <laughs> it just felt great. And I ran to the sideline. I was like, catching my breath. I was like, I can finally play football again. It, was, it just felt right. I was just speechless. I just, I was overwhelmed. What was it like after that first game when you got to see him right after the game? He's, he, as he walked out through the gate, he said, I told you I was going to do it. <laughs> After getting the scare of his life, Brian Schiltz was back to doing what he loves most. Touchdown, Blue Devils. Number one, Brian Schiltz. And holding on to it tighter than ever before. Just don't take things for granted because you never know like when it's going to be over. I love football, so I always take it for granted. Like, oh, I can play throughout high school. You know, there's always tomorrow, so now, and then, now I'm just like, I had to leave it all on the field, 
you know, basically give everything you've got and never stop trying.